Arrogant, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. I'm going to call Porter Williams. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I look across the other side of the House and I see several members of the Social Services Select Committee who were um, uh, government members who were part of the discussion um, for the, the, the substantive part of, of, of this, where we were discussing the wider bill from which uh, was extracted the component of the bill that we are now discussing. And not a single member has stood to give their view on this bill. Not a single member. They have been in the House for hours, uh, probably looking at Facebook, not actually taking this seriously. I challenge them. Oh, you are actually reading some other things. Have any of you got the legislation in front of you so you can actually track what the, uh, the opposition members are saying with regards to, to this bill. I suggest you are not. Let's talk about the people that are, going to, that are impacted by this. They could be positively impacted by this. The beneficiaries of New Zealand who were denied a day's payment because of an inaccuracy, an error that was made 17 years ago on a piece of legislation that was rushed, rushed through under urgency. We can't stress that enough that here we are, back to the future, doing it all over again 17 years later. Do we, and, and what kind of information has the government provided for us to actually uh, make and pass and debate this, this um, piece of legislation. A flimsy departmental uh, disclosure statement, no regulatory impact statement, no idea of, of the cost, uh, nothing uh, with which we can actually base the, the Minister's assertions that the policy intent of, the, of this legislation is clear. There is no clarity. There is very little information. There is no evidence. There is no select committee process. There is no ability for anyone to feed into this process. Only the members of the opposition to stand and take calls to review old Hansards and actually to do the work that the government should have done before this piece of legislation actually hit the table. It's not been done. Where have you been? Why are we debating this under urgency when you clearly haven't done the work, oh, excuse me, Mr Chairman, when the government clearly hasn't done the work? When I was taking my last call, I was starting to refer to um, uh, a beneficiary advocate, um, Kate Breerton, who has, um, according to the minister, um, run, out of, uh, run out of electricity in her attempt to um, ensure that beneficiaries are made aware that they actually have a process that they can apply to. Surely that's the job of the government and the ministry to do that work, not to rely on someone at their own cost, at their own expense, to find people who may be, uh, benefit from this, from this bill. It's extraordinary that the minister actually congratulated Miss, Miss um, Breton for her work, but has done nothing to support her in doing it. The government has got the resources with which to um, advertise for people to come forward. And I want to make, I want to um, just quote something that um, that she has said that. Um, uh, beneficiaries are, are not able to fix a mistake that they, they made which created an overpayment in any way but by repayment of the debt. If a person's benefit ceases a day later than it should have under <laughs> law, that person must repay the overpayment in full. There is no clemency shown to people who owe work and income money. This is a debt to the Crown and will be collected from the person, their estate or any other party that can be held liable. This money currently owed to beneficiaries by the Crown would make a significant dif difference in the lives of many and be a windfall, albeit small, and only a day or two's payment for families and individuals struggling with bureaucracy, which gives them no leeway. However, when the government, when the government underpays, underpays them, What's the response from the government to actually change the legislation so that it actually doesn't have to meet its obligations? Clearly what is happening here, Mr Chairman, is that when the government found it had made its mistake, it put the line in the sand. 
it put the line in the sand instead from this point forward until the legislation uh, is passed. Mr Chairman, Mr Chairman, Mr Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman.